Hello children, welcome to program I Love Science. In today's episode, we will tell you about electricity. Normally at home, you cannot play with electricity because the electricity that we get for our home appliances is 220 volts, which is very dangerous. But in our kit, uh, which is called My First Electrical Circuit, uh, you will get a lot of small little devices which will help you to understand electricity, play with it and have fun. So let's start. Okay, so let us start with the kit. Uh, we will see what are the small devices that we have in the kit. Uh, we have this battery holder where you can put two uh, AA cells. It has two wires, red and black. Red is for positive side from where the electricity flows and the black is for the negative side and the electricity flows and comes back into this, this side. Uh, we have two batteries, we have four LED bulbs and these are of different color, the red, green, blue and white. Uh, we have one motor for you to have fun and then a fan which connects on the motor so that you can see it running. Right? So let's see how this uh, thing works. So we will start with connecting the battery uh, to the holder. So you see the battery has a positive side which is a small tip coming out from here uh, and the negative side, uh, side which is the flat side. You should always connect the negative side of the battery to this spring in the connector and it fits into here like this. So similarly the other battery goes in the connector and now you have two uh, batteries or cells connected now, you will see that sometimes I keep saying cell or a battery. Uh, you should understand the difference between the two terms. Uh, cell means a single cell uh, which normally produces 1.5 volts while when you connect two or more cells together to get higher voltage or higher current, then that device is called a battery. But many a times we use the, uh, these two terms interchangeably. Uh, now let's see, what can you do? Since we have connected two cells here and each cell is uh, 1.5 volts, what we should get out of here should be 3 volts uh, electricity from this. Now what can you do from it? We can light up some lights, LED lights. So let's take, I'm taking the white LED light. Now in the LED light again, uh, there is something to note. Uh, all these LED lights will have two connectors and one will always be a little bit longer than the other one. Now the positive side of the battery should always connect to the longer connector of the LED. So I will take the red connector which is the positive side connected to this longer uh, connector of LED and take the black one negative and connect it here and yes you have got your LED ready. This is how it lights up. Looks nice. Similarly, you can try this on other colors as well. But now, I want to give you one little caution. These two holders that we have here should never, never touch each other directly. Because if you do that, that means there will be a short circuit and the battery will get drained very fast. So be careful about that. Right? Now let's see if we can try to use these uh, other LEDs. So again, I've got the blue LED now and if I connect it like this, you see the blue LED comes up. Uh, similarly green and red. So here you have got the green LED and then So you saw that we have got two cells connecting and adding up to three volts which are enough to light up these lights. Now what else can you do with this circuit? Maybe you can connect more than one uh, LED bulb at a time and light up both of them. So let's try that out. So now since I have got them mixed, I don't know which one is which, so I will just take any two of them and then see I can connect more than one. So I, I have taken two LEDs. I am taking the longer leg of both of them and putting them together and connecting them to the red terminal in my connector and I got the black wire connecting to 
Wow, this is nice. So you see, one of them is uh, white and one of them is green and I have got both of them connected. Similarly, I can connect more. So for example, let me just take it out. I think this was the red one. Yes. Do you see? I have got the I have got the red one. Uh, you see here. You can see both the colors, red and green. So that is how you can connect two of them or more of them together. And this is called a parallel connection. So now let's use uh, our kit to test if some of the materials are good conductors or bad conductors of electricity. So what I have done, uh, I have this LED here and I have connected only one end of this and the other end of the uh, battery we will connect with the material that we want to test. So I have this metal scale. If I connect the metal scale here and then connect the other end of the LED on this, then yes, now you see the LED lights up, which means the current is able to flow through this metal scale. And now that means metals are good conductors of electricity. Similarly, I can also try uh, metal keys. So if I connect my connector here, try to connect it on the key. Again, the LED lights up, which means this is also metal and this is also good conductor of electricity. Now let's try this pencil graphite or the lead inside the pencil. So I will connect the one connector here and then try to connect on the other side and see if the LED comes up. So okay, you can't see it on the screen but when you do it yourself you will see that the LED comes up very very dim which means it's a medium conductor. It's not a good conductor, but it's not a complete insulator also. Uh, so what are the insulators? They are the material which do not allow uh, conducting electricity. So for example, this plastic fan, if I connect the one side here and then try to connect it here, the LED is off. It does not light up, which means this plastic fan is a bad conductor or an insulator. Similarly, you can try other material, you can try paper, wood or leather and such. All these will be bad conductors or insulators for electricity. Now let's see, the in, uh, interesting thing is water. Now if I have got plain water in this uh, cup and if I dip one end here and the other end here, then see the LED does not light up. Now what I can do to increase the conductivity of water is put some salt in it. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt in water and mix it up. Now let's see if Salt, uh, salt water is a good conductor or bad conductor. So can you see that the LED is now lighting up but not very bright which means by putting the salt water has become slightly good conductor but not very good conductor like metal or, or direct it is this bright but when it comes through LED uh, from the water then it's very dim. Okay. So this is how you can use your kit to check if some of the materials are good conductors or bad conductors. Now let's see what else you can do. We have this motor which we have not tried yet. So let's see. Uh, let's connect the fan with the motor. Uh, the motor has uh, two uh, connectors here. Now the good thing about this motor is that it will work in both the directions. So if I connect uh, my battery like this then it will start rotating. Wow! So you see, it starts rotating very fast and I can feel that air is coming out from this fan. Now, but if I reverse the connection, that means put the red 
a positive on this side and black on this side, it still rotates, which means it is different from LED, which lights up only in one direction of current. The motor rotates in both, but in this case, the direction of the rotation has reversed. So I don't feel that the air is coming out from the fan, actually it's coming in the other direction now. So this is all the things you can do. I'm sure you can figure out yourself what else you can do with this electricity kit. So try this kit, have fun, and then tell us uh, what are the interesting things you found from this. Ah, oh, this is nice. Nice breeze from my little toy motor fan.